Shalom, brothers and sisters. Shabar Judah, Ben Israel, coming at you guys again tonight with another phenomenal video. Solid Foundation is the Light Academy. Please subscribe, please like, please comment. We need your help. So, let's get into the lessons. We're going to talk about basically your thoughts. Your thoughts. Basically, your thoughts are things. Your body is, in fact, a very powerful electromagnetic transmitter and receiver of energy, if you didn't know that. That's all the body is, basically. To sum it up, the body is just electromagnetic transmitter that receives an energy, okay? Every thought you have can have a powerful impact on the cells inside your body, whether it be positive, high vibration thoughts, or whether it be um, negative, stressful, low vibration thoughts. See, if your thoughts are positive, and if they are high, then that can rid your body of a disease. Because most likely, we come down with diseases because we have negative, stressful, low vibration thoughts. Which can give the body diseases. And disease, you can just dissect. If you dissect disease, it's dis-ease. Dis -ease. It causes a disease is just something that causes the body to be at dis-ease. It diseases the body. Okay, so if you look into science, uh, the scientist says that they don't believe that the thoughts can have any profound effect on your health. Okay, that just shows you that the so-called white man is not highly inclined spiritually in his mind, like you so-called blacks, Hispanics, Native Americans. Medical science basically believes that the thoughts could never alone cure or cause disease, but that's wrong. However, if you really, like I say, do your research, it's interesting to point out that medical science cannot dispute what you call the placebo effect. Now, what is the placebo effect? Um, the placebo effect it's simply when a person is given like a place bow, which is in effect nothing, but um, it cures the disease. So basically, you know, it's when a, a place bow effect is when a doctor would give a patient some blank pills, pills that doesn't contain any prescription. You know, it's sort of like a, a decoy pill. And to get the patient to believe that the patient is actually taking the pill when the patient patient is actually not. And they do that because they want to test the potential of the mind. Okay, so the placebo effect. This occurs because the patient believes that what he or she is taking, they believe that it would cure the disease. But in reality, his thoughts basically cure the disease okay and they do that just to test the potential of the mind so yeah man thoughts your thoughts are very powerful thoughts can heal but they can also cause sickness and disease in the body believe it or not stress which could be defined as negative thoughts man you got negative thoughts that can cause the body to become acidic so try to stay out the negative zone try to keep positive high vibrational thoughts because truly indeed negative thoughts can cause the body to become acidic and you don't want that brothers and sisters because once the body becomes acidic uh, that creates the environment of illness and diseases causing the body to be at dis-ease that's all negative thoughts does it causes diseases because negative thought causes the physical to be at dis-ease Thus, disease. So these negative thoughts can be, you know, conscious or they can be unconscious in nature. Now, many of these negative thoughts are trapped in stressful or traumatic in incidences from your past because we tend to hold on to a lot of things in the past and that's not good. So several prominent doctors 
they even found out they even found that the vast majority of people with, with which is battling with cancer the majority of people that is battling with cancer have been found to have an incident in their past that caused tremendous grief basically most uh, cancer patients are holding on things of the past that cause the body to become highly acidic and so individuals who have heart attacks what about certain brothers and sisters who have heart attacks these individuals who have these heart attacks they are found to have suppressed anger most of these people are dig uh, dealing with anger who have heart attacks okay and so much more but it's interesting to note the correlation between certain emotions and certain diseases so the stress of a the stress you know the negative thoughts that cause the body to shut down man and, and become acidic and you don't want the body to become acidic you want the body to be high highly alkaline all right um the stress of living in today's environment is higher than any time in history so a lot of our people is going through stress because the elites the the the, the higher powers that be they they make it they make the environment stressful they try to uh, cause the body to become acidic through negative things being portrayed through the media, through, through the news. You know, it's just they their job, the higher powers that be, their job job is to incite fear in the individuals. That's this is basically how how they keep you controlled. They keep you controlled through repetition, fear, and symbolism. And so it's not good to stress. All right. I don't even know if you knew this, brothers and sisters, like when you're driving in your car, like driving in your car, for example, when you're driving in your car, that raises stress levels in the body up to a thousand times normal than the original level. So yeah, driving in your car can raise stress levels up in the body to a thousand times um, not to normal than normal. So when a person is driving in the car, uh, and you talking on the cell phone at the same time that really increase increase stress levels Basically, I believe that that creates stress levels that can go all the way up to 5,000 times the norm man So it's not good to drive in the car all the time and definitely it's not good to to drive in the car uh, Why at the same time talking on your cellular phone because that can rise the stress levels up to 5,000 times the norm So what you want to do my brothers and sisters you want to walk you know, you don't have to drive around all the time. You can walk because walking conversely actually reduces stress. You want to do that. You want to keep that body highly alkaline. And you want to keep that body less acidic. So don't worry about money because if you're worrying about money, arguing, arguing with relatives, friends, and coworkers, watching scary, gruesome movies, um, looking at a television shows that's full of BS, reading the news, you know, these things all increase stress levels dramatically in the physical man so the good news is this can be reversed but that's all up to you brothers and sisters that's all up to you man that's all up to you i'm just trying to uh do a short lesson because many of many of you may not be aware of this so um the anatomy of illness that's what i'm basically trying to cover you know, so what you want to do, you want to laugh, you want to have a good time, and you want to reduce stress uh, without drugs, without taking drug consumption or surgery, you know. So, yeah, man, that's what you want to do, man. Positive thoughts. Positive thoughts. Okay? So, it's a secret to this thing, you know. The secret to this thing is you become what you think about. Basically, you bring about what you think about. Just remember that you bring about what you think about. So positive thoughts and low amounts of stress can create a highly alkaline pH in your body, meaning you virtually cannot get sick if you're positive. If you have positive thoughts, it's hard for you to get sick because positive thoughts creates uh, alkaline, highly alkaline pH in the body preventing preventing for you to get sick but if you want to think negatively and you want to have these negative thoughts and emotions you know basically negative thoughts 
and emotions and high levels of stress, you already know what the outcome, you already know what the effect of that. That causes the body to become acidic, leading to dramatic illness and disease. So what is a disease? What is this? What is the disease? It's basically to have uh, negative thoughts and to be stressed out, high stress levels, which cause the body to be diseased. What causes the body to be eased? Positive thoughts, okay? So you always want to vibrate highly and be and just be positive in everything you do so your words have power man and most people speak words that increase body stress and turn the body ph form from from being alkaline to acidic so just choose your words wisely be careful what you say you know don't talk about negative negativity negativity if, if if you can't if you can't vibrate and think about nothing positive man just remember keep that BS to yourself because when you start thinking negatively and you just start, you, you, everything you think about is negative, everything you say is negative, that's going to that's gonna transmutate uh, the body pH from being highly alkaline to acidic. Yeah, so words can change the way we think and feel, whether you believe it or not. And researchers even have concluded that speaking the correct forms of words and thinking the correct thoughts actually changes a person's DNA. Yeah, man. Researchers. So these so-called white people know that. They know that speaking the correct form of words can basically change your DNA. Um, the, the rival nuclear acid. You know, the 22 acids, the 22, uh, um, uh, I believe in the DNA, you, you like have 22 acids. I believe in the DNA that goes back to the uh, 22 characters of the Hebrew, man. You know, so yeah. Do not overlook the power of how you think and what you say. Please don't overlook that. You want to take heed of that. So that's all I got to say, brothers and sisters. I hope you uh, tuned in and got something out of this lesson. Not a very long lesson on tonight, but I thought I would just shoot that your way. And the reason why we get sick, basically the main reason why we get sick, because negative, stressful, low vibrational thoughts. That gives the body a disease, causing the body to be at dis-ease, which gives you a disease. This is basically why we get sick, okay? Negative thoughts, man, cause the body to become acidic. So remember, what you want to do, have positive, high vibrational thoughts that can rid your body of being dis-ease or rid your body of disease. What you want to do, you want to have positive thoughts and, you know, uh, low amounts of stress creating an, an high alkaline pH in the body, preventing you from getting uh, sick, preventing the body from being diseased or diseased. Okay, so with that, we're going to sign out. See you in the next edition. Shalom, brothers and sisters.